Welcome to FastClick Massive Tutorial. This video will cover the oscillator section and I will be providing you with basic knowledge and examples if necessary. An oscillator is an audio frequency generator that creates repeating waveforms with a fundamental frequency and peak amplitude. Regardless of being able to configure the pitch or amplitude, the most important feature in this device is the shape of the waveform. Besides the possibilities of being able to create many different shaped waveforms, some of the most common waveforms that are used in the oscillator are sine, square, triangle and sawtooth. Massive consists of three oscillators. These generate raw sounds and are later manipulated using effects, filters and other controls. However, these oscillators generate sound using wavetables rather than using simple waveforms. Therefore, Massive uses wavetable oscillators. Wavetable oscillators use a digital representation or recording of different waveforms instead of directly computing one. It contains not one, but at least two waveforms, such as square to saw one. This is the default selection on every oscillator in this plugin. For other wavetable selections, there is a menu button above each oscillator. Let's move on to the controls. This controls the main pitch of the oscillator. You can set these by semitones and cents. It also includes a modulation slot where you can alter and automate pitch in creative ways. The WT position or wavetable position control technically moves position between two or more waveforms within the wavetable. The number of waveforms depends on the type you choose. For example, based on the default square to saw one, if you imagine the two waveforms as two tracks, one on top of the other on a sequencer, moving the control from left to right will be the equivalent of moving vertically between the two waveforms. In simple terms, turning the control to the very left will be set to the square waveform, and to the very right it will be set to the saw one. Having the control in the middle will play a bit of both. This control shapes the wavetable depending on which oscillator mode it is on. Looking at the top of each oscillator next to the wavetable selection button, there is another button that gives you a menu to select between spectrum, bend positive, bend negative, and bend positive negative, and formant. Spectrum is the default setting. It reduces higher frequency harmonics of the waveform. It works in a similar way of a low pass filter cutoff. The higher the intensity, the more reduction on the higher frequency harmonics. On the bend mode, you can raise and lower the readout speed of a waveform in each cycle. For example, the waveform is read slow at the beginning and fast at the end. Here are the following settings and definition for each bend mode. When turning the intensity control on this mode, turning to the very left will cause the waveform to be read at fast at the beginning and slow at the end. Turning it to the very right will cause an inverse effect, in other words, slow at the beginning and fast at the end. Having the control in the middle will have no effect and will stay unaltered. Turning to the very left will have no effect and it is unaltered. Think of this as half of the negative positive setting. When turning to the very right, it is the same setting as before. 
or the same setting as bend negative positive. This works exactly the same way as bend negative. When turning to the very right, the waveform will be read fast at the beginning and slow at the end. Having the controller to the very left will be set as unaltered. Formant is a term to describe the components of speech sounds or vowels of a frequency spectrum. In this mode, the intensity control controls the transpositions or pitch of waveform formants. In a way, the effect sounds like two oscillators where the master oscillator synchronizes the slave oscillator's phase, and when the intensity control moves towards the right, it changes the transposition of the slave oscillator. You can hear the change in pitch and phase when turning the intensity control. This controls the output volume of each oscillator and balances its overall sound. You can also route modulators like the LFO to create tremolo effects or even create a side chaining like effect. This ends my tutorial. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel.